Next, let's have here for okay. So for the weight, the idea for the weight, or you must have actually the value of one in every priority that is not equals to zero. Okay, again, you must have a value of one under the column of the weight, either positive or negative, that is corresponding to the values of the priority column that is not equals to zero. So meaning to say, itong number one na yan, ang katumbas niya na weight for D negative will be one. Same dito sa pangalawa, one din po yan. Lahat ng weight is one. Equal weight tayo, yung topic natin. Then, priority for D negative will be one. everyone welcome so for this discussion we will going to discuss all about the application of the goal programming problem based on our previous presentation we will going to apply this on on POMQM okay so this is actually one of the softwares used in operations research in uh, production and quality management and any other IE related subjects so for us to be able to start, first we must set our module into goal programming. So just click module and choose goal programming. Okay. So ayan, as you can see, there is now the term goal programming on this part of our window. Meaning to say the algorithm of this software is already set in the goal programming. Now, you can click the button file and new. So, meaning to say, we will going to have a new uh, problem or set of data specific, uh, specific for our Harrison Electric Company problem. Okay, so for title, we can actually write here Harrison Electric. And for the number of goals, we actually have four goals on that problem so let's write here four and for the number of variables two okay so we'll click okay now i have here my note as you can still remember and i hope so guys you still remember that based on our problem it says there that the management is unconcerned about four deviational variables which are the d sub 1 positive, D sub 2 positive, D sub 3 negative, and D sub 4 positive. Now, here in POMCOM or in POMQM software, this unconcerned var uh, divisional variables must be zero. So meaning to say, we have here the D plus priority as the second column. The first column is the weight, the positive, then weight, the negative, then priority, the negative. So what this means, actually, you know, what these columns mean. Actually, ang apat na column na to is to used for our priorities and for the weight. And on our problem, ang weight natin dun will be all one. No, same pa kasi yung weight natin doon. Hindi pala pa tayo doon sa sa different weight na topic. So meaning to say, etong mga unconcerned deviational variables natin, bakit sila gagawing zero? Dahil nga hindi naman doon concerned si management. Meaning, etong D sub 1 will be our first priority. And that is actually our first goal and first constraint. So, maglalagay tayo dito ng 1. Okay. Then, our D sub 2 negative. That is also the one of the concerned of management because the unconcerned ng management is yung D sub 2 positive. Therefore, we will be having here not 1 but 2 to designate na ito yung second priority natin. Okay, now, since this D sub 3 negative, 
dapat dito siya pero sabi nga natin management is unconcerned about that divisional variable so we will leave this priority as zero and instead yung three ilalagay natin dito no so the priority for the d plus or d positive here on the goal and constraint number three will be three so let's input here three and for the last one d sub four positive unconcerned yan so ito yon so meaning to say dito tayo maglalagay sa negative dahil siya yung concern ng management next let's have here four okay so for the weight the idea for the weight or you must have actually the value of one in every priority that is not equals to zero okay again you must have a value of one under the column of the weight either positive or negative that is corresponding to the values of the priority column that is not equals to zero so meaning to say etong number one na yan ang katumbas niya na weight for d negative will be one same dito sa pangalawa one din po yan lahat ng weight is one equal weight tayo yung topic natin then priority for d negative will be one okay so eto magiging zero siya since zero din naman eto so lahat ng zero na priority katumbas niya na weight is zero 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 three so this will this zero and zero Okay, I hope everything is clear with you. Now, for the x one, let's write first our x one value of x one. We have here seven. I hope you still have your copy of our input variables. So two for the second constraint. We have six for the third constraint, and we don't have any x sub one for our goal number four or the constraint number four because it is the ceiling fund. Constraint. It is the contract for how many ceiling funds they must produce, and x sub two yon. No, ang x sub one don is chandelier. Walang nabanggit for chandelier. Okay, for x sub two, we have the here sixth and three for the second one, and we have five and one for the x sub two, which is equals to seven. Okay, so our h s dito is seven. For the first our h s we have here thirty. 12 and 30. Now, for these signs, actually, lahat ito, kahit pa sabihin nyo, sir, we have the greater than or equals, the less than or equals, based on our problem, meron tayo tinong, may mga ganon na lumalabas sa signs natin during our discussion ng Harrison Electric na problem. But, that is actually converted, as you can still recall, kinonvert natin yun sa equal sign. Because, If gagamit tayo dito, lalo na sa software ng greater than or equals and less than or equal sign, that will be actually considered as linear programming. And if ganon ang gusto mo, pwede naman. Makuha pa rin yung sagot. Yun nga lang, if lalagyan mo dito ng greater than or equals, dapat ito bakante lahat yan. And since naglagay tayo dito, dapat naman lahat ito equal sign. Okay, I hope malinaw po yun. So, lahat ito dapat equal sign. And please check before solving the uh, tablo. Check nyo yung mga input. Tama naman. Okay, so I think there's no wrong sa ating input. We can now click the solve problem. And automatically, it will give us the final tablo. So, this is the final tablo. And don't mind this. The final answer is here. Just open this tab, and it will say to you that the final decision for the variables x sub one and x sub two should be zero and six. Which is, kung babalikan niyo, eto yung pareho sa naging final answer natin. We should produce six units of x sub two, which is the ceiling funds, and we don't need to produce any unit of chandelier that is zero. Okay. Now, if babalikan niyo yung final answer natin sa manual, as you can see here, we have none achievement of zero for priority one, priority two, and priority three. Meaning to say, lahat kasi yon yung first three priorities are already achieved. 
No, itong tatlo lang yung unachieved natin. Well, yung priority four, ah sorry, ah uh, itong priority priority four lang yung unachieved natin. That's why we have here one. Okay? Bakit one yung naging value dito? Kasi yung kaya lang natin based on our final answer is six, and ang required is seven, di ba? Based on our initial tablo, so seven minus six will be one. So, meron tayong isang unit na unachieved and that is for the fourth priority. Okay? So, I hope you get it, guys. Here is actually the graph of the problem of the Harrison. As you can see, the graph states also that the final answer should be 0 and 6 and the Z value is 0. Meaning to say, we actually already minimized the Z. Again, the Z here is the summation of the, the uh, all deviational variables. Okay, so this is the point of the optimal solution. Okay, or the best solution for our goal programming problem regarding the Harrison Electric Company. Okay, so I hope everything is clear and I hope ma-master ninyo ang tamang paggamit ng POMQM software. Actually, since we begin our operations research topic, karamihan dito nagagamit na natin no, sa mga modules na yan. So I'm looking forward for the mastery of the subject. Thank you for watching this discussion and I hope you are all safe. See you on our next discussion regarding operations research. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.